Let's have a discussion about string theory. Let's fundamentally discuss neoclassical economics. Shall we discuss whether or not random mutation is the true engine of neo-Darwinism? Is that reasonable? Or do some of these crazy people who say, um, I don't know what it is, but random mutation isn't powerful enough to build proteins because stability is too difficult? The sad fact, Joe, is, is that you built something that has some credibility. And even though you think of it as, I just like having conversations with people and a lot of them are fighters and I'm just a meatball, we don't have any other place. We can't go to the National Academy of Science, it's too politicized. We can't go to Harvard, you saw what just happened with Claudine Gay, who's still a professor. We've lost everything. And podcasts, as dippy and shitty and as variable in quality as they are, <laughs> Jerry very much included, it's a is uh, <laughs> this is all that's left. And my claim is, is that I'll challenge Neil. I actually think that this is a better place to do review because I'm on the hook. And by the way, some of the shit that I've said is probably wrong. The thing that pisses everybody off is the fact that I have the models behind what I'm talking about. When I talk about when we describe the electric field or the plasmic field, I've got models that define every aspect of that motion. And I'm waiting for it to be reviewed. I will show you. I would I would love that. I would love that. I'll take some of your money. I would love that. I would I would I would love that. But I'll also try to help make them better. But it's having the proof. And then mind you, like Jamie, if you pull up the um, But Terrence, you know what he's saying about like not being an expert and teaching and then coming from the outside and that it's insult it's like it's, it's a insulting. Bad, yeah, it's insulting. It's a bad way to approach a concept. Because the people that have been studying these concepts for so long instantaneously are told that they don't know, but you know. And that's offensive to people that are actual experts in a thing. I think the same ideas could be portrayed in a way that does not do that. The same I have I, to learn that nomenclature. It's I'll just hope. you're so much smarter than most of the people you're talking to. Well, that's the, what the problem is. And this is. is one of the failures of of Joe's bullshit detector. In other words, you believe what you're saying, and you're obviously very, very smart, and you obviously have a huge amount of things that you've been introduced to. Like, how many other people bring up Herman Grossman yeah. and geometric algebra and Clifford? I think I'm probably the only other one in the history of this program to do that, right? When I saw you mention Clifford algebra, I was like, okay, there's okay. a commonality. Right, now, Sean Carroll for sure knows what a Clifford algebra, I'm not sure whether Neil deGrasse Tyson does, Brian Greene certainly does, but in general, this stuff doesn't get introduced in places like this. And then, for, and you'll watch this in yourself, I'll try to put a circuit in your mind so you'll know exactly the point where you start pissing